Hello everybody. Surprise, we went to the Cayman Islands and let me kind of explain why we were there for those that don't know. My sister Heidi was getting married in the Cayman Islands. Um, she so graciously flew us all down there, paid for an Airbnb that was over the top beautiful and amazing. Um, everything we would want and more in there. It was so beautiful. So thank you Heidi for just supplying us with a, a magical vacation. It was beautiful. So this is going to be a very long vlog. This is going to be kind of a life update on what's been going on with me and what we did in the Caymans. So if you don't want to sit down vlog, that's okay. I'm going to show some pictures and some videos and kind of walk you through what we did in the Cayman Islands. I have to confess, I brought my vlog camera with me and I, you'll understand why I didn't end up vlogging, but I brought my vlog camera and I said, you know what, I'm gonna vlog if it feels right. Maybe I'll do one vlog for the whole trip, maybe two vlogs, that was kind of like in the back of my mind. I was like, I'll pick up the camera when it feels right. Um, and you know what? It never felt right. It just felt like I needed to be present. I wanted to be present. I wanted to be around my family. Um, so before I get into everything, I have already talked to my dad about this and I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. Um, I've already talked to my dad about this and asked him if he was okay with me sharing this and what he's okay with me sharing. Um, he gave me some stuff that he wanted me to say. Um, as you know, I respect everybody's privacy, so I'm always gonna make sure it's okay before I share personal information. My dad has level five aggressive form of prostate cancer. And I've known for um, five or six months now, so I've had time to process, but um, if you kind of saw me over the last five or six months, I've been kind of a mess and really spotty with YouTube videos because I've just been, um, you know, it's one of those moments in life when you kind of just have a coming to Jesus, we'll call it, and uh, I need to be present in my life and my family's life. And if you've ever dealt with cancer with someone that you love or yourself, you know that it's a roller coaster. It is all over the place. First, uh, we found out he did have cancer. And that's just a complete bomb. Um, it, if you've heard the word, you know it's just a lot. So we heard that, and then we heard out it was prostate cancer, and that's one of the best cancers that you can have. And then, and then we kind of get used to that idea. Um, he did say, he wanted me to mention, he did go to MD Anderson in Houston, Texas to get a second opinion because, you know, you just want to make sure you're making the right choices. Um, everything kind of lined up. I'm not sure when all the information was found out, but I think around the time they went to MD Anderson, they found out it was aggressive form of prostate cancer. So, um, going to my sister's wedding. Oh my goodness, let me... <clears throat> The joke is that I got all the emotions in the family, so bear with me. All right, so they went to MD Anderson um, about a month before the wedding, and he had started a new medication. About a week or two, I think, before the wedding, um, he took a fall and was having a hard time lifting his leg, and to be honest, in the state he was in, he was not going to be able to make it to the wedding. And that was very emotional because finding out my dad had cancer, I was really looking forward to just having a vacation, <clears throat> just having all of us together. Um, my sister wanted no kids at her wedding, which 100% respect that. It's her day, it's her wedding. She's flying us all to the Caymans. Did I miss my kids? Yes, but uh, that was her wishes. So I knew it was going to be in the Airbnb, my parents, all six of us kids, and their spouses. And it may be the last vacation that we get as an entire family. Um, so um, there was a lot of emotion, especially the week before we left for the Caymans. And uh, come to find out it was the medication causing a lot of his issues and he was able to make it to the wedding. It was so beautiful. Um, I was an emotional mess the whole day. I was totally fine up until like I saw Heidi walking down the aisle and my dad walking with her and then I lost it when I saw them dancing because I was just so grateful. 
he was there. Heidi called him and was like, if you cannot make it to the wedding, it's okay, take care of yourself. I jinxed it with saying I wasn't gonna cry. <laughs> So that's kind of what's been going on the last six months and why I've been pretty distant from YouTube. Um, I plan to get a little bit better because I really enjoy it and emotionally I'm doing so much better. My dad is doing well right now. It is a type of cancer that he's always going to have. We don't know a timeline. Some have said 10 years, some have had said three years. Uh, we don't know but he's doing really well right now. He looks great. Not to say he looked terrible um, before, but you could just tell something was going on. His color was off. Um, he was he was losing a lot of weight. And now um, he's, he's just doing amazing right now. He's getting around no problem. He's getting his blood sugar under control. That was one thing a lot of the medication has messed with his blood sugar. He is diabetic. He's always been able to control it by what he eats. But because of these medications and the treatments, um, he did say to tell you guys there's no talk of chemo at this time because his numbers are starting to come down. So as I said, my sister flew us all down there and because she used a travel agent, uh, it ended up being cheaper for Lance and I to fly first class. We were the only ones in our family. <laughs> Sorry, everybody, but we were booked different because of Lance's schedule. We didn't get to fly with everybody. We flew the next day, and so we got to experience first class. We were like children on Christmas. It was so exciting. We got little warm nuts to eat, and I was like, oh my gosh. I was so shocked when they were warm. I was like, what in the world is this? We got to have mimosas. I had a glass of wine. Like, it was everything we could hope for in first class. It was so fun experiencing that with Lance. We've never flown first class together. The last time I flew first class was in 2020, I believe, when Landon was going through everything. My parents booked our ticket to Anchorage because um, they wanted to help out. They had airline miles or something and I think they ended up paying out of cash, but I think they told me they had airline miles so they could book it, but I'm pretty sure they paid for it directly but they bought us first class tickets to Anchorage. And um, so it was only a 40 minute flight and that felt so fun. Anyways, that was a lot of fun to experience with Lance. Going into this vacation, I, as you know, it's been a very stressful last six months or so. And so I told myself, I'm going to relax. The kids were staying with their aunt and uncle and a friend of mine, shout out to Tyler and Brenda and Michaela, because you guys are amazing, made it possible for Lance and I to go on this trip. Thank you. So told myself I was going to enjoy this trip. I was not gonna worry about the kids. I had everything set. I had all the kids' medical forms filled out with everything going on with them, all the information, my phone number, Lance's phone, I mean, everything was, was filled out. If something were to happen to the kids, it would be just fine. Broken bones, fixable. I made sure everything was taken care of as much as I could and I just had a good time. I relaxed. I couldn't tell you the last time that I was that relaxed. I wanna say probably on our honeymoon 15 years ago. Lance and I have not taken a trip together, like a, a real vacation alone since our honeymoon. And so it was, we were just, we just didn't have a lot of money when we first got married to like go on trips. You know, obviously we made our honeymoon happen, but um, just didn't have a lot of money. When you're newlyweds and you're young, it's just survival. And then we had kids. So then you really don't have any money. <laughs> Anyways, after flying all day, we left at 4 p.m. Alaska time and we got to the Caymans 12 p.m. the next day. Cayman's time, so it was at 8 a.m. I think it was 12.30 when we landed, so it was like 8.30 a.m. Alaska time. We were absolutely exhausted. Fly, we flew from North Carolina to the Caymans, and the studist was like having fun with us, and, and he's like, oh, you guys have some mimosas, and we were like, oh my gosh, we're so tired. Like, we were sickly tired. I took like two bites of my beautiful breakfast that they had. It smelled amazing, it looked amazing. I had some fruit and like one of the scones. Could I could not believe the quality of food in first class versus what you get in coach. Um, what in the world? It was like what they used to have, I feel like, back in the day, long time ago, it's dating me, but 
I feel like they used to have real food. Flew all night, we got there, and I was just so excited. My whole family was there. My sister was even there with her husband from Idaho. I was just so excited to see everybody. So like we went and said hi, and I forced myself to lay down. Never took a nap. Um, don't know how, because I got a whole 40 minutes of sleep like between the plane and then going into the Admiral's Lounge in North Carolina, fell asleep for a couple minutes, didn't take a nap. I went back over and just like hung out with my family, hung out by the pool. The Cayman Islands are so beautiful. It is absolutely magical. Uh, the weather is phenomenal. My skin was like transformed when I was there. It is amazing how dry it is here. I don't really realize it. Like, yes, I have to put lotion on every day, but there my skin was just so soft it was crazy so we just kind of hung around the airbnb that day this trip was not to explore caymans and honestly when i go on vacation it's not to like really explore the area and i know that sounds terrible i like seeing other parts of the world but i like the people i'm with mostly <laughs> So uh, I was there to just spend time with everybody. This was a family trip and it was all of us together, just kind of hung out by the pool. The next day after we got there, Heidi asked if we wanted to go all go do like a girl's workout and then kind of spend some time at the beach. Um, we actually went to brunch that morning too. So we had brunch, went and worked out, and then we hung out by the ocean which was so cool she had just had a spray tan she couldn't even go in the water but she was making sure everyone was taken care of ordering drinks she ordered me like a third drink and i was like um <laughs> hold on actually i gave it to lance and he drank that because i was like two is probably good for now <laughs> anyways had an amazing time at the beach um just sunscreen after sunscreen i was so paranoid of getting sunburn i did not want to be that purple person um because they're so burned at my sister's wedding so i was really really careful before her wedding i just didn't want to stick out in pictures had an amazing time was so exhausted uh, the next day she had a beautiful brunch where it was just the most extravagant brunch i'd even seen lance and i were actually staying above the garage we requested that because it was our 15th anniversary and i was like oh some alone time anyways uh, walked into the main house with my little sundress for the brunch and I was like, I am not dressed nice enough. Oh my gosh. And so I ran back in the house and changed into the dress that I wore. Still not even as fancy as she had it. I should have known Heidi is like <laughs> above and beyond on everything. Um, it was beautiful, but had the beautiful brunch. The next day was the wedding. Um, when I tell you guys, it was the most beautiful wedding I'd ever been to. It looked like it was should be in a magazine. That doesn't even, doesn't even describe how amazing everything was. The detail, the beauty. They got married on a beach and then had like happy hour right behind it and everyone just kind of hung out until the reception. Um, they had everyone head over to the reception and then um, and then they came in and the reception was so crazy. Okay, one thing, there was security guards there, which is so cool because my sister and her husband are pretty well known in the whole YouTube world. And so it makes sense that they would have security, but I just thought it was so cool that I was at a wedding that had, that was like, just add security, I don't know. There were so many things that I completely fangirled over. I got to meet a couple people that I watch on YouTube, like Max Tuning. I have been watching him for a long time, totally fangirled over him and Taylor. And then um, hit their friend, Joe. Joe is like one of Christian and Max's friends that kind of is in the background and he, does, he used to do like car videos. Anyways, I completely fangirled over meeting all three of them, okay? Those were like the people. And there's all these like influencers and stuff that I've seen. It was it was very crazy, but it was beautiful. It was people that wanted to be there. Got to meet some of like Heidi's employees. It was like overwhelming to finally meet these people in real life that I have messaged with on Instagram. It was a lot of fun. Speaking of Instagram, I posted a ton of pictures and reels and um, mostly pictures. I think I only posted one reel and it was like a transition one. Anyways, posted tons of pictures of our Cayman's trip um, on there. So if you wanna see more, go over there. If you don't have Instagram, just type in Google like Violet Vlogs um, 
Instagram and it, you should be able to see them, I think. I don't think you have to have an account. So I danced my heart away. I had a good old time at her wedding. I've never been to a wedding that I was either not in or helping with. Um, every single detail was covered. Heidi had everything covered. We didn't have to do anything. We just we, we just showed up and had a good time and it was absolutely magical. I took tons of pictures. Okay, not to come back to like Max and and Joe, but I had some liquid courage during the wedding. Okay, it wasn't I wasn't crazy. I just, you know, I had a glass. <laughs> Jessica, my sister-in-law, she also loves the podcast too. And so I was like, I want to go ask if we can go take a picture with them. They had like a photo booth set up where it was printing out pictures. And so I got to take pictures with them and <laughs> loved that. <laughs> then the next day, my sister had a beach day where she just wanted to hang out with everybody. She wanted to interact. She wanted to just see everybody that came to the wedding. Everybody that came to the wedding, which I think was probably over a hundred people um, were invited to the beach day and she had tacos there and drinks and it was it was just so fun relaxing my dad got in the water which was really cool we got him in the water got a picture of all of us with dad the entire trip was just beautiful like I said I was gonna vlog when it felt right and it just never felt right it was so good to just hang out with my siblings kind of felt like we were kids again because none of us had kids there it was just all us adult children without our kids to have to worry about without them worrying about being in the pool or the water or anything we could just relax and hang out with each other. Almost every single night, we just kind of hung around the table outside of the Airbnb because it was warm. My dad liked to keep the house so cold. I think it was like 68 degrees in there the whole time, which was really nice because we're all, you know, thick-blooded. So on TikTok, I saw these cards and because of everything that is going on with my dad, I bought them. Um, they are cards of questions to ask your parents or your grandparents. And they are questions like, what were the toys like growing up? What was your best friend like? Who did you hang out with the most? Um, what was your first job? What was your style like in high school? I mean, just a lot of fun questions. There's a lot more in detail questions in that, but those are just ones that are like popping into my head. But just really fun cards. So we asked my mom a bunch of questions one night and I don't think I took any pictures or videos or anything. It was just us hanging out and she got to answer all these questions. I mean, we were out there, I think until midnight, which is crazy late for my mom, first of all. <laughs> She's like a nine o'clock bedtime. Um, and then the next day, or yeah, I think it was the next day, I asked my dad some of these questions and it was just a few of them, but it was really fun to hear their answers. I need to just set my camera up and ask them both a bunch of questions because I'll pull like my favorite ones out or something. Um, it was just a very, it was a very intimate moment of getting to ask questions that I never really thought about. Anyways, the trip was amazing. Um, I know that some of you are disappointed that I did not vlog it. Again, it just didn't feel right. It, I needed to be present and I took tons of videos and pictures on my phone and that was enough for me. So that is what we've been up to. Um, that's kind of the update that I have uh, kind of been putting off because I knew it was gonna be a heavy one. The Cayman Islands were amazing. Congratulations to Heidi and Christian. Now, my family did vlog. Um, there's my sister, Heidi, Christian, the, that's my sister and her husband that got married, my brother, Bert, and his wife, Jessica, they vlogged. Um, so I'm gonna link some videos down below if you guys wanna go watch them or their channels. Again, if you wanna see a lot of the pictures from our trip, please go over to Instagram. Thank you guys for listening if you're still here. I know this is a long one. Hopefully you got your water in and your coffee intake well handled <laughs> during this time. Here's to hopefully getting more vlogs out. Um, summertime is coming. It's not quite here yet. Do you guys wanna see what it looks like here? Still, this is, I am filming this April 8th. Still winter. It was actually just snowing a little bit ago. So that's perfect. It is melting, I will say. It's much less. I think it was to the top of those black poles out there or pretty close. So 
we're melting. Thank you guys for coming along on this little chat. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!